so basic proportionality theorem or thales theorem i have already recorded a video on this and i have already posted the same on youtube so i'm not going to teach you the proof of that i'm going to teach you what does it mean is that thing clear yes but the point is this theorem in itself is very very important okay so two things you have to remember you have to learn this thing also exact statement so how the question comes this question comes like this state bpt this word state this word state means you have to write this line exactly the same just like english just like history understood is the yes. question clear yes question will be state bpt and prove it this question will be for 3 to 4 marks one mark for stating two to three marks three for, for proving. proving proving understood and how many how much chances are there there are 50% chance that this question will come exactly this way. okay after that they can do one thing they can add one more question to it then this question will become 4 to 5 4 to 5 marks so what they do they write like this state bpt prove it and solve this so from the exercise or example they will give one question to prove make sense yes any one question they can give and it's a very very standard practice and uh, i personally remember when i was giving my 2005 exam board exam the same question came now as i told you i have already uh, explained uh, this proving this is a proof which is there in the book itself so i am not going to do it right now you can watch that video later and i am going to explain you what is bpt okay let's do that are you guys ready i am going to explain what is bpt so bpt talks about if we have a triangle i am purposefully going to take a different triangle also can you see i am taking a different triangle also different type of triangle i would say yes. so let's yes. say it's a triangle abc and there is another triangle pqr so these are two separate questions they are not related okay pqr pqr okay now so bpt theorem talks about two things if a line drawn parallel to one of the side so we we can take any one side generally people take this side i'm not going to take that side so let's take this side ab okay okay this is the these two angles are equal yes or no yes sir. yes now it is easily uh, visible and this angle is equal to this angle yes 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 now if you observe carefully can you see two triangles i can see yes Yes. One triangle. A M N. A M N. And another is the bigger one. A B C. A B C. Now let's try to see. This M was equals to B. Yes. Yes. And this N. N was equal to C. Equal to C. Okay. And. This a, a is, is equal to a is common. common. 
So since all three angles are already equal, all three angles are equal, that means they are similar. 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 Make sense? Yes. Sir. So I can say that triangle A M N is similar to triangle A B C. So as I told you, angles are already equal. So can I say that AM is proportionate to AB? Mm -hmm. What will happen? Uh, MN N by BC. BC equals to AN by AC. Make sense? Yes. Now, please observe this statement. in this figure, what is happening? Okay, just be careful. AM is over here. And AB is the full thing. Can you see that? Yes. Yes. Similarly, MN, okay, leave MN, focus on AN. AN upon AC. AC. So this is the BPT. Okay, now I'll just summarize what I've just taught. You can take a screenshot quickly so that uh, uh, at least you can summarize your point later. Yeah. Done? Now, let me just summarize what I'm teaching. BPT tell us if a line is parallel to one of the sides, then what will happen? So let me just take a parallel line like this now. This is X, this is Y. So as soon as I see that, it is given that if X, Y is parallel to PQ, then what will happen? This side will RX be proportional to RX. this side. Make sense? Yes. yes. Rx upon Rp will be equals to Ry upon Rq. RQ. Understood? R y yeah. upon R q and x y upon P q. Make sense? Yes. This yeah. is the basic concept of BPT. Please take a screenshot of this thing if you have not copied as of now. Make sure you copy later on. So based on this thing, let me ask you one or two questions quickly. So let us take a triangle like this. L, M, N, P, Q. And this is parallel to this. Quickly tell me, as soon as you got the parallel line, what should be your first understanding? And uh, the angles are equal by... We are not talking about that, oh, Neil. So Neil, BPD theorem so talks about side. Oh, the only side. If... We have parallel sides are proportional. Yes. Understood? Yes. So tell me that thing. As PQ is parallel to L, LM, hmm. then, Q, then NQ upon, upon NM, NM. NM. Can you see this is same? Is this has to be same. Yes. This equals to NP upon by NL, NL. Yeah. Okay. It equals to PQ by LM. Very good. Now, extending the thought. Reverse is also true. Yes. Okay. NM equals to NQ. NL upon NP. LM upon PQ. Now, which one to take? It depends upon the question. Actually, these two are almost same. Yes or no? Are in reverse. Yes. Just reversed. But the most important part I'm going to teach right now. Just uh, give me one minute. Have you copied this thing? Yes. Now, coming back to the basic figure again. Now, let us take some values to understand it a little bit better. Okay. Now, uh, 
as we were discussing let me just take some value as give me some ratio uh, ab is equal now so let's say 2 upon 5 can i say that 2 upon 5 okay yes so let us just substitute the value these are not exact values these are ratios so i'm just taking a, a value over here let's say this is 2 then this full is what 5 5 this is 2 then this full is what 5 5 this is 2 this is 5 yes or no 5 now important learning to have if this is full 5 this is 2 then what is this 3 isn't it 3 yes it's and three. this is also 3 so can i extend my knowledge that if line is parallel then am upon mb is equals to an upon nc also yes understood yes 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 they are also proportional na yes sir yes sir whether yes. they give the value or not they are also proportional now another yes. understand uh, bottom part bm upon ab can also be equals to nc upon ac makes sense yeah. Is it NC upon AN. NC upon AN. NC upon AC. Full. AC. Full, full, full. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, full, full, full. Okay. This ratio is 2 upon 3. And this ratio is 3 upon, upon 5. 3 upon 5. Okay. okay. Make sense? Yes. Yes. So... I hope I'm able to make you understand the correct, correct use of PPT. Now you have to do the first exercise of this chapter as homework. Okay. Yes.